friends, once again, this is Jose Trujillo. I'm, a, I'm an artist, I'm a painter. I'm coming to you here from a, a corner of my art studio. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question here um, that I was asked uh, recently. I've been asked this many times, but, uh, but I decided to go over it again. Here it goes. How do you overcome fear, right? Jose Trujillo, how do you overcome fear? Here's the short answer. You don't. Now, before you, you know, log on and say, oh, okay, well, thank you. Let me, let me explain to you a little bit of why I say this. You, you don't overcome fear. Fear is, I just, I just made a video about the lizard brain uh, that I learned from Seth Godin. If you haven't read his books, go check them out. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting anything for telling you this, but it's just worth the read. It's worth the Google. <laughs> it's worth the read. Uh, anyways, you, you don't because... Like Seth Godin says, uh, the lizard brain or the ego or the, 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 uh, the, the voice in your head that is always trying to protect you, thus tells you to be afraid, is, is really, that's what it's doing. It's, it's, you know, it's like your mom saying, be careful with that, get down from there, you know, whatever. <laughs> it, that voice is trying to protect you, so it's never going to go away. Let's say, you know, you get to a place in your artwork where, where you're... You may say, you know what, I'm ready to show it to galleries or whatever. Or I'm going to put it on Facebook. And you're afraid, well, what if they think this? What if they think that? That voice really is just trying to protect your self-image. You're, you're, you're afraid of, of looking bad in front of people. It's perfectly understandable. But you're not going to get anywhere with that voice. You know, listening to a voice. It's not, it's, nothing's going to happen. You know, so how do you overcome fear? You just don't. The way you do is you plow forward. And it's easier said than done. It's something you practice. It's something I practice daily. Uh, as I said before, and I'll say it again, I'm not, I'm not in a pedestal or anything, you guys. I mean, you guys see here, I'm, I'm in my, my studio. I'm a working artist. I'm, 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 uh, I'm, you know, shooting daily, you know, just doing my thing. Boom, 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 here and there. But, uh, but I haven't arrived at a place where I'm like, well, let me tell you guys. No, I'm, I'm sharing with you what has worked for me and what I what has continued to work for me and what I'm doing. So maybe maybe it'll help you know one or two of you. I'll, I'll be more than happy if it helps at least one of you, whoever's watching. But uh, uh, you just don't. You know that voice, that fear, it's not gonna go away. So don't plan on. Here's the wrong thing that most artists do. They're like, oh, okay, well I'm gonna overcome my fear. You don't overcome fear. You really don't. That's a great word. Um, maybe it's the right word. You, you, you don't, you, it doesn't go away. You overcome it, right? You, yes, maybe that's the word. You go above it, but it's still there. And it feels uncomfortable and you're going to hate it, just like everything else. But you have to, it's like walking in a tunnel. And there's the light, you know, <laughs> whatever those metaphors, I don't know. But you're walking and, and you're afraid and you just, you got to keep walking because otherwise you're not going to get to the other side. It's just not going to happen. And, and you're going to feel all this, you know, spookiness. What if I do this? What if I do that? I'm afraid. Maybe I don't have the right knowledge yet. Maybe I'm doing things wrong. I don't want to bother my family. I don't want to do this. Friends and family, that's, that's a common thing. People don't want to talk to their friends and family about their artwork. You don't have to do it. Uh, from a you know negative point, you could just you know it's it, it comes down to value when it comes to that. I'll I'll talk about it somewhere else some some other time. But it comes down. If, I mean, if you're just bothering people, then then you know no, right? It's not gonna work, and and you're gonna feel bad, and they're gonna feel uncomfortable or whatever. But if you bring value to the table, you know, if you bring value, you're not just like bugging like hey 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 look at me look at me. If you're bringing value, if you're bringing something that you know hey this might help. Oh you know this is a different perspective or whatever. Then then you might feel a little better. And it's not rocket science either. So don't think oh, there's a lot of gurus out there saying that oh you know you have to bring massive value. No, it, it's that's bullshit. It's not true either. I don't I don't believe in that. I think that 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 great value breeds out of out of uh, time and consistency and and you'll figure out your voice of what that value is but at least at least you don't you don't start like spamming right you start talking some sort of value whatever we all have something to give uh, as, as I'm proving it here in this video I've been learning this stuff so I'm going to share it with you this is something I can give I might not be able to to uh, I don't know 
uh, donate, you know, all these paintings and all this and, you know, or, or slash them in half price or, or, or do this or all this stuff. I might not be able to do that, you know, all the time or I might not be able to do that from the get-go or whatever, but I'm bringing some sort of value right now. So that's something you can do. Uh, anyways, I deviated from my... <laughs> We all have something. If you're a musician, you know, you can, you know, bring some value to the table. That way you don't have to feel bad about talking to friends and family. But uh, the fear is not going to go away. It's just not. And if you plan on the fear going away, you're in for a rough ride because it's not. You just have to keep working hard and smart and plow forward. You know, it's like la 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 la. <laughs> That's the only way. Until you get better at it and better at it to the point where... I like that movie, uh, uh, Beautiful Might, where he has, I think he has uh, schizophrenia, or I don't know, uh, some, some, some sort of uh, mental thing going on where he's looking at uh, people that don't exist. I don't know if, if you guys haven't seen that movie. He, um, he says something interesting in the movie where he says, uh, you know, that he's learned to, to live with them, you know, kind of, I don't know, I don't, movie spoiler alert, whatever, but, but, but he, he realizes that it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Like it's there, you know, but it reminded me of fear. It's like fear, right? It's there. It, it, it'll bug you if you give it attention, right? It's like that, that Native American, uh, I think it's a Native American uh, story about the two wolves, right? We all have two wolves. Which one's stronger? The one you feed the most. Well, don't feed fear, right? Just keep doing your thing. That's all. That's all, folks. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. Bam, I delivered some awesomeness. Till next time. Whoa, till next time.